In this lesson, we're going to look at NIC teaming. NIC teaming is great when you have multiple network interface cards or NICs and you want to have added resiliency in case one of those network interface cards were to fail. So on my Hyper-V host here, I have set up two network adapters, so two network interface cards, and I can view those by going into my network connection settings and going to change adapter options. So you'll see here that I have two network adapters, a third one here that is uh, unplugged, but because I have two uh, network adapters, I should be able to create my NIC team. So to do that, I go into server manager and I go to local server. You're going to see here on the left side, NIC teaming is currently disabled. So what I want to do is click on disabled and I'm going to create a new NIC team. So under my teams here, I'm going to go to tasks, new team, and I'm going to call this team prod for production. So you'll see here that I have my three network adapters, one of them being disconnected. I'm going to add in ethernet one and ethernet two. Click OK. Now I have my NIC team set up. We'll go back here to my network connections and there is my prod NIC team. Now if I go to the properties, the next step would be to configure a IP address, a static IP address for the NIC team. And we'll see here, if I go to any of the other uh, Ethernet 1 or Ethernet 2 adapters, you'll notice that the IPv4 address here is not checked off. So what ends up happening is these two adapters join into a group, and that group is called the NIC team. So you no longer assign an IP address to both Ethernet 1 and Ethernet 2. You assign that Ethernet that, sorry, that IP address to the prod NIC team. So going back here, you'll now see that the status is okay. Both of my network adapters are up and working and they are added into that prod NIC team. And I would be able to use that NIC team as part of my virtual switch in Hyper-V. So this way, it adds that additional resiliency that if Ethernet 1 or Ethernet 2 were to have a problem, network connectivity would not fail as long as one of the other network adapters in the NIC team was still up and running. So ideally, I would have three or more network interface cards or network adapters in this NIC team. Then if one of them or even two of them were to fail, I still have that additional level of resiliency to keep my uh, network up and running with my host.